time playing this festival. Um, we heard a lot of things about it before we got here. People were like, oh my god, everybody's so nice and everybody's so friendly. People camp and there's just like a lot of like peace, love, and namaste and watching us here at Hillside, but no, 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 you guys are a good time, you're a good time. This is actually, you know, it's funny because when, when we were growing up, um, you know, my family, we, we grew up in Alberta and we went camping all the time. That was like our, our vacation, was to camp. And um, when I think of camping, I think of, you know, my childhood, but then I think of being an adult and like people having bush parties and drinking and bears and being like, that's what, you know, like I, it gets dark. It gets dark for me. But whenever, whenever we do festivals where people are camping, it's like it, it doesn't exactly resemble the the camping that we did as kids. And um, as an adult, I have I've camped. Well, like six years ago, I camped, and it was what I like to refer to as the last time I camped because. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to camping. And, and and listen, you think you think it's because I'm judging judging people who camp, and I am because I <laughs> camp so long that I have a right to, to to judge people who camp. Because I I didn't just camp like one time. Like I know people who were like, I went camping, and I'm like, Shh. I'm like, let me show you a photo album dedicated to the 30 years that I camped. And I had like, you know, I had like one of those air mattresses that blows out, and it's like a it's like a it's, it's like a Sealy's posturpedic, you know, camping thing or whatever. And I also like camped on rocks, it's probably because I was on acid. But there were also the times where we had like the 70s, 1970s tent that you needed like a, you needed one of those degrees in like, 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 uh, like astrophysics to put it up. There was like 68 different, Tegan, you're distracting. Keegan, you're distracting them from listening to me. No, 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 they were yelling at you. I said that you couldn't hear them and just... Oh, okay. Ma'am sensors. I, I know you do. I mean, I would assume that you're camping if you're getting one. Um, this is why I'm telling you this you a tempopedic bed inside of your tent, right? What? Because, because you're so... 9 by 12. Tegan, she's looking for a guest in the tent tonight. Okay. That's a big tent! We're inviting Sarah into the tent. Okay. But no, no one gets it's six feet high. Oh, I see. Are you sleeping in that tent or are you selling it? Do you work for Canadian Tire? No. <laughs> Is that your drink on the speaker? You're having a very good time here, I guess. I already know it. Yeah. We love you too. We're really happy to be here. We got stuck in traffic, but we're still in a really good mood. We're having a very nice time. You guys are really attractive. Sorry, okay, just, just, I was going to finish that whole, but you, ma'am, best of luck with your camping experience. But at my last camping experience, I just, I had that realization, this will be the last time, this, thank you, John, please, this will be the last time that I, that I camp. And I, it mostly had to do with the fact that the person I went camping with had acid reflux and threw up all night, and I thought to myself, no, no, I don't want to camp anymore. And... Thank you, sir. And if if I have a roommate who has acid reflux, I hope they're not in my tent, but actually just in their house. And so I have a lot of respect for all of you who are camping here tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to be camping at the Sheraton in Toronto. And um, although we run the risk of getting bed bugs, uh, you run the risk of getting uh, sunstroke and also having your shit stolen while you're at the Tegan and Sarah. So best of luck with all of that. What a generous story, I know, and if it could fit, if it could fit on my gravestone or even just a license plate, I'd say she once camped and now she just performs for those who camp.
Yeah.